How's it going, guys? We have a medium difficulty question for biochemistry. Three-year-old boy, he's got hepatomegaly that was picked up prior, and he's in for a follow-up appointment. Serum lactate not increased. Blood glucose within the normal range fasting. Vitals normal. Fundoscopic neurologic exams normal. No past medical history, no family history. Which of the following enzymes most likely to be deficient in this patient? Choice A, aryl sulfatase A, which is going to lead to a buildup of cerebral sulfatides or cerebral sulfates for metachromatic leukodystrophy, a lysosomal storage disease? Wrong fucking answer, okay? So leuko means white, dystrophy means abnormal. So you have abnormal white matter within the brain and metachromatic, normally toluidine blue can stain certain molecules within the brain. You never would have guessed it, blue. But in metachromatic leukodystrophy, the sulfatides stain yellow instead. That's called metachromasia. So that's how it gets the name. But it's a neurodegenerative lysosomal storage disease. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, alpha lactosidase A. This refers to Fabry disease, causes a buildup of ceramide trihexoside, wrong fucking answer. Fabry disease, a lysosomal storage disease, excellent recessive. It's going to present with cardiac and renal defects, burning feet syndrome, angiokeratomas, which are red slash violaceous papules on the skin. It's really not dramatic, okay? If they ask you choices A or B on eosimile, they will basically tell you the deficient enzyme in the stem, or they will tell you the buildup product. And you'll just know it's the diagnosis right away. Very, very, very rare that they would give you the presentation and make it very difficult where you're supposed to guess pretty much. They'll tell you the deficient enzyme or the buildup product. Choice B, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, alpha-1,4 glucosidase deficiency, which refers to glycogen storage disease type 2 Pompe syndrome, wrong fucking answer. The reason it's wrong is because this will present on eosinole as a sick kid with hepatomegaly and cardiomyopathy. Pompe is the answer on eosinole for a glycogen storage disease where they have cardiomyopathy. So let's say you get an eight-line paragraph, and they tell you it's a kid, hepatomegaly, there's a heart problem, and then they list a bunch of the enzymes for the glycogen lysosomal storage diseases. They're talking about Pompe syndrome. USMLE also wants you to know that the glycogen storage disease enzymes are located within the cytosol. However, in Pompe, it's located within the lysosome. Alpha 1 4 glucosidase is AKA lysosomal acid maltase. It's not a lysosomal storage disease, but the location for this enzyme is still within the lysosome. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, debranching enzyme, aka alpha 1 6 glucosidase, refers to Cori syndrome, glycogen storage disease type 3, correct answer. Now, this will be the answer for a kid who's otherwise unremarkable, normal serum lactate, no hypoglycemia, but who has a glycogen storage disease. And it's a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning you eliminate the others to get there. You could eliminate von Gierk. Type 1, for instance, because that's going to be a sick kid who has severe lactic acidosis and hypoglycemia hepatosplenomegaly. Our serum lactate is normal here. There's no hypoglycemia. You can eliminate McCardle choice E, myophosphorylase, aka muscle glycogen phosphorylase type 5, because that's going to be a teenager or young adult who gets severe cramping with exercise. They do have normal lactate in glycogen storage disease type 5, McCardle. But once again, it's a teenager, young adult who has severe cramping with exercise, which we don't have here. So you eliminate, you say it's clearly not Pompeii, no cardiomyopathy. It's clearly not von Gierk, a sick kid with lactic acidosis, hypoglycemia. It's clearly not a teenager, young adult with cramping after exercise. So we're left with Corey, and that's how you arrive at debranching. Now, debranching, when you have your glycogen tree, the structure of it, and you have all these branches sticking off, the one four glucosidase is how you shorten the length of those branches. And then at the very end, when you want to chop the final piece of that branch off, which is called a limit dextrin, 
you need one six glucosidase, which is where uh, Cori, which is where it gets the name debranching enzyme, at the very end. Myophosphorylase, wrong fucking answer. 